forty percent is the increase in the salary in the income of Shreya. So the percentage increase in Shreya is forty percent. One one fourteen minus rupees hundred. That's equal to rupees fourteen. That means therefore the increase is fourteen percent. So the twenty percent of hundred now. Twenty percent of hundred is equal to hundred is equal to twenty into hundred divided by hundred. That is nothing but twenty itself. Hello, dear students. Welcome to this session of basic mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. In my previous class, we have discussed regarding. the problems based on percentage now in this session also i will take few more problems based on a percentage that is the increase in percent as well as the decrease in the percentage now let us straight away come to a problem these are all important problem for 3 marks and 5 marks now monthly income of shreyas and akshata so shreyas and akshata and pooja was increased from 22000 and 15000 To thirty-five thousand, twenty-six thousand, and eighteen thousand, respectively. Who gains the maximum percent? See here, there are three persons. That is Shreyas, Akshita, and Pooja. The monthly income of Shreyas is increased from twenty-five thousand to thirty-five thousand, and similarly, the monthly income of Akshita increases from twenty-two thousand to twenty-six thousand, and whereas the monthly income of Pooja. Increased from fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand to eighteen thousand increases. Then, respectively, whose gain percent is maximum? So, who is going to get the maximum percentage of gain? That is to be determined. So, here, what is to be determined is the percentage of gain is to be determined. Right now, just make use the formula of percentage increase. Increase in the percentage, percentage. Increase is equal to so percentage increase is equal to initial value divided by increase value into hundred. Okay, so here this is nothing but increase divided by increase divided by initial value into hundred into hundred. So the percent increase, increase in the percentage is given by increase divided by initial value into hundred. Now let us come to the first one, increase in shares. So income of shares is increases from twenty five thousand to how much it is thirty five thousand. Now let us consider for first one for share. So the increase is equal to what is the increase? Increase is nothing but so thirty five thousand. Minus what is the initial value twenty five thousand divided by initial value. Initial value is twenty five thousand into hundred. So thirty five minus twenty five is ten thousand divided by twenty five thousand into hundred. That's equal to these two gets cancelled. So that is twenty five into four. Ten into four. Ten into four. That's equal to forty. Forty percent is the increase in the salary in the income of Shreya. So the percentage increase in Shreya is forty percent. First one. Okay. Similarly, find out the percentage increase of uh, Akshata as well as uh, Pooja. Now move on to Akshata. Then percentage increase of Akshata is. So the percentage increase for Akshata is equal to what is the formula? So increase. What is the increase? So it increases from twenty-two thousand, yes, twenty-two thousand to twenty-six thousand. So that is nothing but twenty-six thousand minus twenty-two thousand divided by the initial value is equal to twenty-two thousand into hundred. What is this equal to? Twenty-six minus twenty-two is four thousand. Four thousand divided by twenty-two thousand into hundred. So this gets cancelled. That is nothing but four divided by twenty-two into hundred. This is equal to 
just 4 divided by 2200, 400 divided by 22, 400 divided by 22 is equal to 18.18 percent. The percentage increase in the income of Akshata is 18.18 percent, okay. Similarly, find out the percentage increase for Pooja. Now, for Pooja, what is the value for Pooja? The percentage increase is equal to the initial value. What is the initial value? 15,000 to 18,000. So, 18,000 minus 15,000 divided by the initial value is 15,000 into 100. What is this equal to? 18 minus 15 is 3,000 divided by 15,000 into 100. So, what is this equal to? This gets cancelled. So, that is equal to 3 by 15 into 100. So, what is this equal to? 1 over 5 into 100. That means 100 divided by 5. 100 divided by 5 is nothing but 20 percent. Okay. Now, what do you say from this? So, here the percentage increase of uh, Shreya is 40 percent and similarly the percentage increase of Akshata is uh, 18.18 percent and for uh, the percentage increase of Pooja is 20 percent. So, what is required to find? whose gain percent is maximum. So, Akshata's gain is maximum. So, she is going to get the maximum percent. So, therefore, the maximum, maximum percentage of gain is for is equal to 40. The maximum gain percentage is for Shreya. It is for Shreya. So, Shreya will get a maximum uh, percent of increase that is nothing but uh, 40 percent. Now, move on to the next problem. Now, let us consider suppose you let the initial cost of the TV set be rupees 100. Let, let the initial cost, cost is rupees 100. Let us consider it as x. Now, rupees 100 then what is the 20 percent of 100? 20 percent of 100 is equal to what is 20 percent of 100? 100 into 20 divided by 100 that is nothing but 20 itself, right. So, what is given? So, increased by 20 percent, increase by 20 percent is equal to 100 plus 20 that is equal to 120. The increase in 20 percent is 120, right. Now, then 5 percent is decreased. So, the increase is equal to rupees 120. Now, 5 percent is decreased. 5 percent of decrease, 5 percent of decrease is equal to 5 percent of decrease in 120 minus 5 percent of 120. Let me simplify this. This is equal to 120 minus 5 percent of 120 means 5 into 120 divided by 100. Simplify this. What is this equal to? This is 120 minus 0 and 0 gets cancelled. So, you can divide from 2. So, 2 5 is a 2 6 is a 5 and 5 gets cancelled that is equal to 6. So, 120 minus 6 is equal to 114 rupees. 114 is the decrease. So, the increase is 120 and 5 percent is decreased from 120 means 5 percent of 120 is equal to that is 120 is 6, 120 minus 6 is equal to 114, right. Now, what is the increase? The increase is 114. What is the original cost? 100. Therefore, the difference between 114 and 100 will give the percentage increase. So, therefore, the increase, therefore, the increase in the original cost The increase in the original cost is equal to rupees 114 minus rupees 100. That is equal to rupees 14. That means, therefore, the increase is 14 percent. So, increase in the original cost, the percentage of increase in the original cost is 14 percent is the increase in the original cost of the TV set. That is it. Okay. Hope you followed. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. A number x is mistakenly divided by 10. Suppose if a number x is mistakenly divided by 10 instead of being multiplied by 10. 
So instead of multiplying by 10, mistakenly it is divided by 10. What is the percentage error in the result? So we have to find out the percentage error in the result. So instead of uh, dividing, if you multiply by 10, there is a mistake. What is the percentage error of in the mistake, right? Okay, they have already given a number x, a number x is mistakenly divided, right? Okay, suppose if you multiply the number x by 10, you will get 10x. If you, if you divide the number by 10, you will get x by 10. So that is, if x is multiplied, if x is multiplied, if x is multiplied by 10, we are going to get it as 10x. Now, suppose, suppose if x is divided, by 10, what we will get? x divided by 10. So, if you multiply, you will get 10x. If you divide, you will get x by 10. Okay. Now, what is an error? The difference between these two will give the error. So, therefore, the error is equal to, error is equal to 10x minus x by 10. Simplify this. That is equal to take LCM. 10 is the LCM. 100x minus x divided by 10. 100 minus x is nothing but 99x divided by 10. That is it. Okay, see here. Suppose if the number is multiplied by 10, you will get 10x. That is, if a number x is multiplied by 10, then we are going to get it as 10x. If the same number x is divided by 10, you are going to get it as x by 10. Now, what is the error? The difference between these two will give the error. So, error is equal to 10x minus x by 10. Take LCM, 10 is LCM. 10 into 10 is 100x minus x. 10 into 10 is 100. 100 minus x is 99x divided by 10 is the error, okay. Now, percentage of error is equal to, now therefore, percentage error is equal to, percentage of error is equal to, what is the formula? Percentage of error is equal to error divided by actual value into 100, that is it. This is equal to error divided by actual value into 100. So, percentage of error is equal to error divided by actual value into 100, okay. Error is equal to, what is the error? 99x divided by 10 and the actual value, actual value is equal to 10 into 100. That is equal to 99x divided by 10 into 10 is 100 into 100 that is equal to 99x, okay. So, therefore, the percentage error is equal to, therefore, percentage of uh, error is equal to 99%, that is it. So, the percentage of error is 99% is the percentage of error in this case, okay. Now, move on to the next problem. By how much percent should the use of milk be increased if the price of the milk is decreased by 20%, so that the expenditure remains unchanged. Here, by how much percent should the use of milk be increased if the price of the milk is decreased by 20 percent? If the price of milk is decreased by 20 percent, so that the expenditure will remain the same, it remains unchanged, okay. Now, let us assume the price of the milk be 100 instead of x. Let the price, the price or the cost the cost of milk is equal to 100. The cost of milk is equal to 100. Now, suppose the quantity used is also equal to 100. Let the quantity used is also equal to 100, okay. Then what is the total expenditure? Total expenditure is equal to total expenditure is equal to 100 into 100, 100 into 100 that is nothing but 10,000, right. Total expenditure is 100 into 100, 10,000. Now what is given? So the 20% of 100, now 20% of 100 is equal to, 100 is equal to 20 into 100 divided by 100, that is nothing but 20 itself, right, okay. Now what is the new price? Therefore, the new price is equal to what is the original price? 100 minus 20, that is equal to 80. The new price is equal to 80 rupees, okay. The cost of the milk is 100, 
let the quantity used is also 100 therefore the total expenditure is 100 into 100 is 10,000 new price uh, whenever it is decreased by 20 percent is 100 minus 20 is equal to 80 right now suppose let the new quantity used be x let the new quantity used be equal to by x let us consider it by x okay now what is the total expenditure total is equal to 80x total expenditure is equal to 80x right in the previous case what is the total expenditure 10000 in the second case what is the total expenditure 80 so then what is to find the milk is decreased by 20 percent so that the expenditure will remain the unchanged if the expenditure will remain the unchanged means 10,000 is equal to 80x just simplify you will get the value of x that is it ok. Now for unchanged expenditure for unchanged expenditure 80x is equal to 10,000 now therefore x is equal to 10,000 divided by 80 this gets cancelled x is equal to 1000 divided by 8 that is it ok. Now what is this equal if you divide you will get this is equal to 125 x is equal to 125 right. Now what is the increase in the consumption of milk the difference between 125 and the 100 therefore increase in the consumption of milk is equal to increase in the consumption of milk is equal to 125 minus 100 that is equal to 25. 125 minus 100 that is equal to 25 right. So by how much percent the percentage of increase is consumption therefore the percentage of uh, consumption is equal to 25 percent that is it 25 percent of the consumption. So the consumption is 25 percent in terms of percentage it is 25 percent ok hope you follow very simple just equate the expenditure the expenditure is 10,000 when without unchanged for unchanged the expenditure is 80 therefore 80x is equal to 10,000 total expenditure is 80x for unchanged they are equal 80x is equal to 10,000 means x is equal to 10,000 by 80 means 125 that is it hope you followed these are all very important problems for the point of examination. That is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with the different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.